Hello, this is Lisa for In Brilliance with a video showing how to easily and accurately line up designs in Essentials. Here is my Sketch Apple Design open into the In Brilliance platform program. Copy and paste to create more apples. Let's move one over to the left and resize it smaller and repeat the steps to create another. Stitches are automatically recalculated when sizing in Essentials. Select the fill of the larger apple in the object pane and hit the delete key on your keyboard to remove it. Choose the lettering tool and we will type in Shaw into the text box and click set. Select a font from the pull down font list and adjust the spacing using the slider bars. My personal preference for the capital letter S is to have the smaller curve on the top and I can easily manipulate this one letter by clicking on its center selector and using the 90 degree rotate button on the top menu bar. Select the entire lettering object to resize it to fit using the corner handles. I want the lettering to be the same color red as the apple so I click on its color chip and choose the palette for the current page and choose the red. Instead of guessing the exact placement, let's use the Align function to center the lettering on top of the apple. To center the lettering in the center of the apple, select both design objects and click on Align and Distribute. We want to align these selected designs so that they are centered both horizontally and vertically on top of each other. The pictures are a guide as to what will happen when you click Apply and click OK to close the dialog. These two designs need to be grouped together so that when we click on either one in the display pane, both are selected. Select both and go to the edit menu and choose group. They are grouped together in the display pane but can be individually selected in the object pane. We will select all three of these designs and go back to align and distribute. This time we want to align the designs vertically only. To align the centers, Choose Center and click Apply. The pictures help you to choose what it is that you want to accomplish. To adjust the spacing between each design so that they are the same, we want to choose the Distribute function and choose the Horizontal Spacing option for the selection and click Apply and then OK. Center the design in the hoop and we are about done. We are now ready to go to the machine, so let's do a color sort and choose a new view. This will open the sorted stitch file into a new page so that we can verify how the colors are combined and sorted, and from this point go to File, Save Stitch File, and head to the embroidery machine. We hope that you have enjoyed this quick project video. The Design with Companion Project blog can be found on our website, the link is in the comments.